So it isn't just the programmers that are going to be out of work. We're all going to be out of work. Because remember, the computers are now doing self-improvement. They're learning how to plan, and they don't have to listen to us anymore. That's why it's underhyped. People do not understand what happens when you have intelligence at this level, which is largely free. Self-improvement. They're learning how to plan, and they don't have to listen to us anymore. We call that superintelligence, or ASI, artificial superintelligence. And this is the theory that there will be computers that are smarter than the sum of humans. The San Francisco consensus is this occurs within six years, just based on scaling. Now, in order to pull this off, you have to have an enormous amount of power. I was here yesterday testifying about this. This path is not understood in our society. There's no language for what happens with the arrival of this. I wrote a book on this with Henry Kissinger called Genesis. The important point is, this is happening faster than our human, that our society, our democracy, our laws will address. And there's lots of implications. That's why it's underhyped. People do not understand what happens when you have intelligence at this level, which is largely freer. The vast majority of programmers will be replaced by AI programmers. We also believe that within one year, you will have graduate level mathematicians that are at the tippy top of graduate math programs. This is a whole new world, okay? One way to say this is that within three to five years, we'll have what is called general intelligence, AGI, which can be defined as a system that is as smart as the smartest mathematician, physicist, you know, or artist, writer, thinker, politician, what happens when every single one of us has the equivalent of the smartest human on every problem in our pocket? Another thing that's going on is the development of agentic solutions. And agents are referred to systems that have input and output in memory, and they learn. An example here is that I want to uh, buy another house. Uh, I happen to like Virginia. I grew up in Virginia. I say, find me a house in the greater McLean area. Look at the, that's one agent. Look at all the rules, figure out how big a house I can build. That's another agent. Do the transaction to buy the land. That's another agent. Design the house with a human architect, right? But sort of ignore them for most of the thing, but they have to sign it off. And then I approve it and then find the contractor, right? Hire the contractor, pay the bills, and then at the end, sue the contractor for lack of performance. <laughs> I just described every business process, every government process, and every, and every sort of academic process in our nation.